Hey guys, welcome back. So in the last tutorial we finished off by creating a basic health system for our player. Today I'm going to show you how we can display this information to the player during gameplay. What we're going to be using to handle that transfer of information from our blueprints to the screen is a type of user interface called a widget. So how do we create a widget? Well we start by right clicking here in the content browser and we go here to user interface and we're going to look all the way at the bottom for widget blueprint. So we'll click on that. And we'll call this my first widget. And we'll double click here and open it up. Now as you guys see, this kind of looks like the blueprint editors, but not exactly. This is a basic canvas panel. Um, it's just an empty graph, basically. A little place that you can put a whole bunch of different things in and um, stuff that you want the player to see basically during gameplay and over here you can see there's a list of a ton of different things that you can use and at various points in your game development um, each of these things may become important but for right now we're gonna keep it real simple and we're gonna, we're gonna look for this thing called a progress bar right here up at the top under common you see progress bar we're gonna click on it and drag it in and this is going to be the basis for displaying our health to the player. Now we're going to make this a little bit bigger. And if you notice this canvas panel, what's highlighted in blue here, this is going to be the size of the screen. So however big you want your progress bar to be on the screen, that's how big you want to make it within this uh, canvas panel. So make ours pretty big, like that. And we'll just put it right up here at the top of the screen. Now if you notice over here on the right hand side it has this little thing called percent and it's at zero. So this says it goes from zero to one and if you guys will notice as I click and drag and move this up to one the progress bar fills up and as you drag it back down you see it depletes. This is what we're going to use to represent our health. So as we have full health we want our percent to be one and as we get injured and our health goes down, we want the percent of this progress bar to go down. This is a variable right here, guys, this percent. So we're going to have to find a way to link this variable that controls the progress bar to our health variable. And we'll be able to do that with a binding right here. So we're going to click here and say create binding. Now this automatically opens up a little function. As you can see over here, it says get percent underneath function and that's the name of this function we can obviously give it whatever name we want so if we click here right click and say rename we can say player health and this will be our function and what a function does is it's just a little piece of code that you can call by name so we can call this player health if you right click here and say player health you see call function and it has the name of the function that we just named here player health and you'll be able to call this from other blueprints which we'll get into in a little bit so what we want to do here if we go into the event graph we'll get rid of all of this stuff actually the tick will delete and pre-construct will delete Event construct is basically like event begin play for widgets. So what we want to do off of this is say cast to and we want to get our player character. So for me that's the third person character. And then off of object we're going to say get player character. And this is going to get us a reference to our player character that's already built in. And we're going to right click here and say promote to variable because we want to remember this. We want to tell the computer to remember this um, so that we can use it later on and we're going to need it for our function. So we'll call this player reference. And this is going to tell the computer now to keep um, a copy, basically, of our player character. That way we can access things from the player character blueprint. So now if we go into player health, what we're going to do here so we're going to drag out our player reference and say get player reference. And we're going to drag out of here 
and say get health. Now you see how we can get this variable that's within our player character, but now we're going to have access to it in the widget. And that is why we cast it to our player character. So now that we have access to this health variable, what we want to do is somehow connect this to our percent, right? So if I just hook it up like this, you can see now that our health is going to be 100. And we're going to put that here in the return value. And this is what's going to set the progress bar. But if you guys remember, if we click here in the designer, the progress bar percent goes from 0 to 1. So 100 is out of range. Somehow we want to convert our player health to a percentage of health. And in order to do that, we're going to need to go into our third person character. And this is the code that we made in the last tutorial. So we're going to click here, and we're going to make a new variable, and we're going to call it max health. And we're going to make sure that this is a float. We're going to compile, and we're going to set this also to be 100, because that's the maximum health that we want our player to be able to have. So now the health starts off at 100, and the max health is 100. So I hope you guys can see where I'm going with this. We're going to go back into the widget, and we're going to go here to the graph. And we're going to go into our function here. And now we have another variable that we can get out of player reference called max health. So we're going to get that. And now we're going to divide these two. So we're going to divide a float by a float, because both of these are floats. And we're going to plug this into the return value. So now I hope you guys can see that we're going to create a percent here. So as our health goes down, max health is going to stay at 100. And our health is going to go down. So when we divide health by max health, we're now going to have a percent, which will work really nicely with our progress bar. So come back here to the designer. And the one last thing I want to show you guys um, before we leave this area is this little star thing right here, this little asterisk. This is called an anchor. And an anchor works exactly like you would think, um, like real anchors do for ships. You put them down and they kind of keep the ship in the same spot so it doesn't float too far away. That's exactly what this is going to do. So you can anchor your items that you put onto this canvas panel if you don't want them to move around based on screen size. So obviously if you're playing on something like a mobile device versus a computer, the screen size is going to be bigger and anchors are how you keep things centered where you want them. So we want our progress bar to be centered at the top. Top and center, not top right. So I'm going to click this anchor right here and you see how it moves the little asterisk and now it's at the top center. And that's going to keep our progress bar the same distance from the top of our screen, um, no matter what size the screen is. OK, so we're going to compile and we're going to save. Now, we need to go into our third person character. And we're going to right click here and say begin play. So when we begin play, just because we created this widget, Right now, the third person character doesn't know that the widget belongs to it, OK? So we actually have to link the widget to our character. And the way we're going to do that is right off of begin play, we're going to say create widget. And now we're going to look for our widget that we just made, my first widget. And a good habit to get into, guys, right after you make a widget, is to right click and say promote to variable and you can say my first widget ref and this will make it easier to access your widget um, widgets are notoriously difficult to get to if you don't keep these references so we're just going to leave that in case we need it later and finally and don't forget this step you need to say add to viewport and the viewport is basically just the player's screen. But if you don't do that, you'll create the widget, but the player won't be able to see it. Now the owning player, this is looking for a controller. So we'll say get player controller. And that'll make sure that this widget um, shows up on player 0 
that's the default player controller, um, shows up on that person's screen. So if you have a multiplayer game, um, the player index will be different, 0, 1, 2, 3, depending on however many players you have. So we'll compile and we will save. We'll minimize this. Now we'll hit play. And now you see we have a little bar. And if I hit the F key, you see it says 90 over here, 80, 70, 60. And you see that our bar is depleting. That's because we've now linked our player health variable to this progress bar. And now when I hit it the final time and all of our health went away, it quit. All right, guys, so now we have made a player health and we've been able to display that to the player so that they can see um, the interaction that health has with uh, world objects or enemies or whatever um, during gameplay. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more tutorials. And the next one will be improving our gameplay, adding some objects that can take away health and some objects that can give you health instead of just using the F key. Alright guys, see you later.